Hi, I'm Andy Glass with WorkshopAddict.com. Today we're going to take a look at the latest Woodpecker's one-time tool, the 641SS and the 1281SS squares. The 641SS square is meant to be an apron square for everyday use in the shop, and the 1281SS square is meant to be a bench square. Now today we only have the 1281 SS square in the shop here, so that's where we're going to base our review on. Um, both squares are basically identical, their 641 SS is just a little bit smaller. Both squares have a 16th inch stainless steel blade that enables very accurate marking. Um, I like thinner blades on my squares as that imperial mark or the scale is just closer to your workpiece. You don't have to bring it down the side of your square to your workpiece very far, um, so you can line that up with your measurements. The 1281 SS has four easily readable 1 32nd inch scales um, that are laser engraved. The outside of the blade is 12 inches long. The inside of the blade is 10 and a half inches long. The top of the handle scale is six and a half inches long, and at the end of the handle is two inches long. The end of the handle scale is really nice for tool setup such as table saw height or router bit heights at the router table. The aircraft grade aluminum handle allows the unit to lay flat on your workpiece or stand up on its own if you're checking uh, maybe a carcass for square or um, different things like that. The handle cheeks are 3 8 inches thick, 1 and a half inches wide, and 7 and 5 8 inches long. The notches in the blade, um, this unit has three different categories of notches. The two main rows, one is 1 16th increments and the other is 1 8th inch increments and they're double notch, which means you can pull and push the square um, to make your parallel lines on your workpiece, which is really nice. Uh, the larger holes are for 1 inch increments, uh, so that's easily um, identifiable if you want to go. There's also a top indicator um, diamonds on the top of the square or top of the blade. The larger notches are nice. We use three different size pencils here in the shop. 0 0.05, 0 0.07, and then a regular number two pencil. So with the notches it's nice to be able to use all three of those pencils in the notches rather than have a specific size hole that we need to use a specific size piece of lead or writing instrument. Uh, these squares have a recalibration feature, so if your square gets knocked out of square, you can easily loosen it up, and then using the adjustment uh, screw, you can um, align it back up. Now that process is super easy. You simply place your square on your workpiece, mark a line, flip your square, and mark the line in the same spot, and if those lines meet up, your square is square. If it's not, your square is out of square and needs adjusting. Simply loosen the tightening bolt and then adjust the tightening um, lever or screw and bring your blade right in the middle of those two lines and that will make your square spot on. We've had the 1281 SS square here in the shop for about a week and a half. We've primarily used it at the bench. Um, it's intended for bench use and we completely agree. It's got a perfect size blade um, and whole uh, just kind of ratio of parts uh, for bench use. The quality is uh, exactly what you'd expect from woodpeckers, um, just extremely nice, um, nice and precise. Uh, in our opinion, this unit excels in an environment where time is incredibly important. A cabinet shop, a custom woodworking shop that uses different measurements every single day. I don't think it's applicable to a production shop as they typically have consistent and repeatable measurements when an operation is set up. Um, so they don't really bounce around between measurements. Um, if you compare this unit to a standard combination square and you need to make 10 different measurements on a project, that can take significant time changing that combination setting. Uh, with the 1281 SS or the 641 SS, uh, those changes are as simple as moving your pencil. It's a heck of a time saver and no doubt more consistent results. So, Although it's important to the weekend warrior, uh, most of the time their budgets can't justify the cost of a unit like this. Um, it can certainly be made to make birdhouses, but if someone wants a cream of the crop square, uh, but that's really not what this tool is intended for in our opinion. Uh, speed and consistent results is for the professional uh, and that is where we think the 1281 SS and the 641 SS squares belong. Well, what do you guys think on the Woodpecker's latest one-time tool? Let us know below. We'd happy to provide some feedback. Um, we encourage you to follow us on social media. We do product review updates, project updates, exclusive social media giveaways, and tips and tricks every now and again. I'm Andy Glass with Workshop Attic. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.